Get ready for the adventure of searching for buried treasures using the latest gold and metal detector, Gold Vision. Whether you are a professional or a beginner prospector, GeoGround offers you in its new device a new definition to the world of metal detection. With our new device, you will be able to find deeper targets than you previously thought possible. Gold Vision. This revolutionary device is about to change the future of gold and precious metal detection thanks to the advanced technology provided by GeoGround in its new device, Gold Vision, which enables you to reach the farthest and most mysterious treasures in the recesses of the ground. Package Contents The Main Unit Smart Sensor Search Antennas Wireless Handle Signal Booster Dish device charger, user manual, device installation. First, install the smart sensor into its socket in the main unit of the device correctly. Second, install the wireless handle unit on the bottom side of the main unit of the device. Third, install the search antennas in their designated place on the device and then rotate the antennas in a clockwise direction. Fourth, install the signal booster dish in the main unit of the device. Powering on the device. We also recommend that the device be in a flat and horizontal position when turning on the device for the first time. Open the device screen unit and press and hold the power button. Wait a while until the device program completes loading. First, you will see the main screen. Main screen explanation. On the status bar located at the top of the main screen, there are one, clock status, which can be adjusted from the device settings, two, Laser status, which can be turned on by pressing and holding the laser button on the keypad. The laser will also automatically activate when searching through the bionic system. 3. LED light status, which can be turned on or off by pressing the LED button. 4. General sound status, which can be controlled in the device settings. 5. Language indicator. The symbol of the language used in the device will show here. The device program user interface comes in eight international languages, which we can also change from the device settings. Six, battery status, which displays the current charging level of the device battery. Search systems. 3D ground scan system. The search results of this system are displayed in the exclusive and specialized GeoGround 3D Analyzer application, which the user can install on any supported Android smartphone or tablet, which provides users with multiple visual tools for analyzing 3D graphics and visually identifying the potential type, shape, size, and depth of any targets within the scanned area. To conduct a search using the 3D ground scan system, the user must install the smart sensor and wireless handle and connect the GeoGround 3D analyzer application to the device. It is also important to lock the device rotation feature through the lock button on the handle. GeoGround 3D analyzer application. After installing the application on the smartphone, we first must grant the necessary permissions to connect the application to the device. Then, click to search for your device. 
From the list of available devices, select your new device and click Connect. After connecting the device to the application, we will see that the 3D ground scan system screen has automatically opened on the device screen. Then we go to the application and enter the 3D ground scan option from the main menu. The system settings will appear and we must adjust the settings correctly before starting the search through this system. 1. Path from this option, we can select the type of path the user will follow during the search. We should always move according to the parallel or zigzag path. We can select the type of path we want to search by pressing the up-down arrow keys. Parallel Path In the parallel path, we divide the search area into parallel and equal lines. At the end of the first line, we return to its beginning and move to the second line with a 30 centimeter offset distance. We repeat this process in all path lines. The distance between each step and the next on the scan line is estimated at 30 centimeters. Zigzag Path In this path, we start the search as in the parallel path, and at the end of each line, we move to the second line with a 30 centimeter offset distance, without returning to the beginning of the line. Two, Direction, the angle of the search area. From this option, we can specify the point or angle from which we will start the search. If we are going to start the search from point A, for example, then we choose this shape from the direction option, and if we are going to start the search from point B, we must specify this shape in the settings. 3. Lines, or the process of calculating the number of lines in the search paths. Let us first say that we want to search in an area 300 centimeters wide. We divide this width into parallel lines so that the distance between each line and the other is 30 centimeters, resulting in a total of 10 lines. We enter the number of lines, which is equal to 10 in this case, in the lines field of the system settings in the application. 4. Pulse Number of pulses. This is the number of times we will press the start button on the wireless handle while searching the path lines. To calculate the number of pulses in the search lines, we assume the length of the search area is also 300 centimeters. We divide these longitude lines into equal sections, or pulses, so that the distance between each pulse and the other is 30 centimeters. In this case, the number of pulses in each line of longitude will be 10 pulses. We enter the number of pulses that we calculated into the pulse field. 5. Type or Type of Search From this option, we can specify whether to press the Start button manually or automatically. In the Manual option, the user must press the Start button at each step he takes in one of the previous paths in order to record the scan. In the automatic option, the application automatically calculates the number of pulses in the search lines, remembering to press start at the beginning of each line we take in one of the paths. After completing all the previous settings, we click on Start Scan. An alert screen will appear that contains a simplified video explaining how to search the path we have chosen in the settings, either zigzag path video or parallel path video. We start the search according to the previously chosen settings, such as path, directions, and lines. We will notice that with every step we take in one of the paths, the application starts drawing three-dimensional details in the areas of the lines we previously defined. 
complete the search process until a window appears stating that the search process has been successfully completed. From this window, we can save the scan process that we've performed in the files of the application. We enter the search file we saved in the files for a preview. We can navigate and move the graph or 3D drawing formed in the middle of the screen in the direction and perspective we want, as if it were in three-dimensional space. On the bottom bar, we see the following icons. 1. Reset. Reset to Automatic Mode. From this option, we can reset the options and position of the 3D drawing to its original form. 2. Grid, or the surface of the ground located above the graph. 3. Wireframe, which enables us to clearly see the graph as a wireframe view. 4. Data. From this option, we can enable or disable the visibility of the data related to the results in the search area. 5. Depth. Here we can show or hide the approximate depth values that display for each cell in 3D grid in the 3D drawing. 6. Soil. When you click on this option, a list of 15 different types of soil will appear. You can choose the type of soil depending on the area in which you are searching. Choosing the right type of soil will provide more accurate results. Existing soil types. Natural, cement, clay, sandy, clayey, high minerals, low minerals, rocky, freshwater, salty water, snowy, permafrost, charcoal, granite, saline. 7. Color Filter. From this option, we can hide or show any color of the 3D drawing. Red indicates the presence of metal. Blue indicates the presence of voids or spaces. Green, natural soil. Yellow indicates the areas surrounding the metal. As for the light blue, it indicates the areas surrounding the voids. 8. Color Gradients From this option, we can customize the colors of the drawing to the color gradients that suit us. This option helps us filter certain colors from the 3D graph so the drawing is more visible to the user. Long Range System the feature of rotating the device around the wireless electronic handle was developed to suit the various uses of all device search systems. In the long range system, when the device finds the frequencies of potential targets, it rotates around the electronic handle towards the specified target. Install the handle, antennas, sensor and signal booster dish into the device with the need to unlock the wireless handle. Select Long Range System from the main menu and press OK to enter the system. The system screen that includes system settings will appear. The user must adjust all settings according to the type of soil, type of target, distance, and depth of the target he is looking for. Use the up-down arrow keys to switch between tabs. First, adjusting long range system settings. 1. Target. In this section, the user must select the type of target he is looking for in the surrounding area. Use the left right arrow keys on the device keypad to change the type of target you want to focus your search on. The device is designed to search for 11 different types of targets. These target types are gold ore gemstones, diamonds, copper, cavities, bronze, silver, platinum, iron, gold veins, gold treasures. 2. Soil. In this section, the user must select the soil type of the search area from the list that includes seven different types of soil. Soil types are rocky, 
normal, low mineral, high mineral, wet, stony, sand. 3. Distance. In this section, the user can search for all possible targets within the range he defines, from 1 meter to a maximum of 3,000 meters. By long pressing the left-right arrow keys, the values will change faster. 4. Depth. From here, we can determine the required depth that we're looking for. We can specify a vertical depth of up to a maximum of 40 meters underground. 5. Search. After selecting the desired settings, go to the Search section. Here we can see all the settings you specified in the previous sections. By pressing the OK key on the keypad, the search screen will display. Second, Device Calibration. After entering the search screen, a warning window will appear. Press the OK button on the keypad or the Start button on the top of the handle to start the calibration and enter the search screen. Make sure that the device's balance indicator, red line, is on the green mark in the middle of the indicator. We always recommend starting from the northern region of the target search area until the device begins to rotate around its axis. Then, the user must follow the method of determining the target area. Suppose we are now advancing in the specified search area through the zigzag path, and at some point on this path, the device begins to rotate around its axis to the right or to the left. The user here must always follow the direction of the device's rotation, and then we will notice that the device is leading us to a point or a certain direction. We keep following the direction of rotation of the device until the device begins to rotate around its axis for more than 90 degrees. And at every point, we draw a new transverse line. We repeat this process from the four sides of the target area we will see that it begins to form a square or rectangular drawing for this area. Let's say this region is target area. Free mode system. The free mode system in the device is similar to the principle of operation and technology found in the long range system. However, in this system, we can specify an accurate value for the required search frequencies to match a specific type of metal we want to search for in order to obtain more accuracy while searching for specific metal type or specific targets. Install the handle, antennas, smart sensor and signal booster dish into the device with the need to unlock the wireless handle lock. Select the free mode system from the main menu and press the OK key to enter. Here we can customize the frequency value we want accurately instead of choosing the target type from the automatic list as in a long-range system. We complete the remaining settings, such as the soil type, the maximum distance and depth of the desired target, as in the long-range system, and start the search according to the zigzag path also mentioned in the long-range system. Smart Depth System Our new device features a smart depth system through which the approximate depth of a buried target can be calculated with excellent accuracy. After completing the search using the previous systems, we mark and define the shape of our previously drawn area. Then we mark the center point of the selected target area so that this point is in the middle of the target area. Install the handle, antennas, smart sensor and signal booster dish into the device with the need to unlock the wireless handle lock. After entering the system screen, a message will appear asking you to stand over the central point of the target. We stand over the central point of the target and press the start button on the handle. Then, wait until the loading is completed and we make sure that the device is properly balanced, that is, in a flat and horizontal position without tilting to any side. Then we start moving forward towards the corner of the first path, and as we move forward, with each step, we have to press the start button on the handle. 
we will notice in the corner of the screen the number of steps we have walked and the direction of the path we are taking. Every path we take ends when the device starts turning right or left around its axis. When turning the device, a message will appear to us stating that we must return to the central target point. We return to the central point of the target and press the start button on the handle to start the second path. We follow the previously mentioned steps in the second path, followed by the third, and finally the fourth path. After completing the four paths, a message will appear indicating that we have successfully completed all paths and we can now know the approximate depth of the target burial. We press the start button or the OK button from the keypad and after a few seconds, the device will start calculating the depth of the buried target and to display the result of the approximate depth of the target at the bottom of the screen. Ionic System The new technology in the Ionic System allows for more accurate detection of ionic fields, which are generated by metallic targets buried underground. When selecting the Ionic System in the device, the device will show us two progress bars on the search screen. The first, at the top, reflects the signal strength coming from a metallic target, such as gold or iron, and the second bar, at the bottom, shows us the signal strength resulting from an underground void, such as a tunnel, grave, or some other gap. Install the handle and smart sensor with the need to lock the wireless handle lock. After entering the Ionic system screen, the user must press the start button outside the search area that is, in the direction opposite to the direction in which we want to search, in order to calibrate the sensor. Then, we slowly move the device up and down at the same speed while tilting the device slightly towards the surface of the ground. The status of the progress bar and the percentage on the screen will change according to the proximity and strength of the captured signal to the target whether it is an ionic target or a gap. Bionic System The bionic system works in a similar way to the ionic system, but with the difference that here, the initial signals are captured from a metallic object that the user has, such as a gold coin or a metal bar. We install the handle and the sensor in the device and lock the wireless handle. Point the smart sensor head at the metal target of the type of metal you want to find, and then press the start button on the handle. We can also use laser light to pick up the signals of the target type more accurately. To start searching, we slowly move the device in all directions and wait for the results on the system screen. In the event that there is a signal close to the search location, or a signal similar to the signal captured by the metal whose signal we picked up previously, the sample signal, a red circle will appear on the indicator, indicating the device has started to pick up the signals and has found the desired target. When there is no signal to be picked up by the device, only a green moving circle will appear on the indicator and without the device making any accompanying sound. Device Settings we can access the device settings from the main menu. The device settings sections are Time, Display, Sound, Language, Info, Time. We can use this section to set the device's clock time. To change the time, press the OK button on the keypad once to move to the time section, then the hour number will change to red. Use the up and down keys to change the hour. To move to the minutes pane, press the right key and use the up and down keys to set the minutes value. Display. In this section of the device settings, you can see settings related to the screen, such as sleep mode, screen brightness, and smart sensor LED light. One, 
Sleep Mode. With this option, the device screen will go to sleep mode and turn off if the device is not used for one minute. To turn the screen back on again, press a key on the keypad. To turn the sleep mode option on or off, we press the left right keys on the keypad. 2. Brightness. Use this option to adjust the screen brightness level. 3. Sensor LED light. By turning this option on, the LED indicator light of the smart sensor will be turned on during the search. Sound. In this section, the user can control the volume of various sounds made by the device, such as the general sound of the device, the sound of keypad clicks, and the sound issued during scan. Language. The device user interface is available in eight languages. English, German, Spanish, French, Russian, Italian, Arabic, Persian. We can change the language of the device after entering the Language Settings section by using left-right arrows of the keypad. Info. In this section, the user can see the complete information about the device.